Well, good morning. Welcome back to the Broadcast Retirement Network. I'm Jeff Snyder. This is BRN AM for Tuesday, June 14th, 2022. And our top story today, more than 50 million U.S. vehicles need urgent repairs. Well, joining me now to discuss this and a lot more, Emily Voss is with Carfax. Emily, so great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us on the program this morning. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having us. Okay, so this this number is a large number, 50 million vehicles in the U.S. These could be new, these could be used cars, have some type of need for repair. Uh, I guess first and question is, why so many? That's right. More than 50 million vehicles on the road have an open recall right now, which is a very significant number. I will say that's about a 6% decrease from 2021. And we saw the same decrease from 2020 to 2021, but the number is still too large, right? 50 million vehicles. That's almost one in five vehicles on the road that has a known open recall that has not been closed. Any any reason for this? And we're going to get into the the. I think people, everyone knows Carfax. I and I was going to ask you, are you are we going to be joined by the Car Fox? But I know <laughs> apparently he's busy right now. Uh, he so is every, busy. Every, he's he's always busy. Um, <laughs> he's on more. He's on other shows too. Uh, right. but, but let's but let's let's talk about why is this amount so large and why haven't people been keeping up with recall notices? I think there's a couple of things that factor into this. I would say the first one being an awareness gap, right? So there are people who have an open recall on their vehicle and don't even know about it. Manufacturers do their very best to try to notify car owners. But here's the thing, cars get sold, people move. Sometimes we throw out maybe what we think is junk mail without looking at it when really it's an important safety recall. So manufacturers are doing their best. We know they send those notifications in the mail when there's an open recall, but people are busy and life happens and they're not aware a, that there's an open recall or B, maybe they're aware and they put it off and they think I'll fix it down the road. It's not that big of a deal, but even something that you think sounds maybe minor, a headlight issue, for instance, can still be a fatal problem. There's a reason these recalls are issued and they need to be taken care of. So maybe if you have something for like an, an airbag recall or an engine fire, you're going to take it right away, right? But all of these recalls are safety issues and should be addressed. Yeah. I was going to ask you, I mean, I'm old enough to remember the Ford Pinto, which I think is really the, that was the one, that was the car that if you hit it in the back, the, the fuel tank would explode. Obviously, that's a significant need, but these are things like electronic updates or software updates. It could be wire, wire housings that you said that you indicated. These are things that could lead to a fire. So you never can underestimate if it's a recall, it's pretty important. You should make, it, make time to go to your dealer. That's right. It is important. And the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the manufacturers, they work together to issue these recalls. They're issued for a reason and you should take the vehicle in. Now, there, you know, the manufacturers know that there is an awareness gap, that they maybe aren't reaching every vehicle owner when there is a, a recall issued. And so they've partnered with Carfax to be able to offer free recall search services. So if you want to put your VIN in or your license plate number, we'll tell you if there's an open recall. So basically a digital garage where you can even store your vehicle identification numbers um, for say yourself, your kids, and be able to track all the vehicles that you own or your loved ones own. And not only do we check that moment in time when you first register the vehicles, but we will notify you if a recall is issued and it's completely free, but the manufacturers have partnered with Carfax to do that because they know there's an issue with reaching people. Yeah, absolutely. And people, look, people are busy. I, I get, you know, COVID people quarantined, maybe they weren't driving as much, uh, even more of imp importance to make sure that you, you have all the safety features of the vehicles um, updated, if not put you and your family at, at risk. Now, people can go to, and I want to just one last question before we go to a commercial break, but people can go to www.carfax.com forward slash recall. And do I need to put my, my VIN number? That's that long number. Where do I find that VIN number? 
The VIN number is that long number. You can find it on the windshield inside the door frame on most vehicles. And yes, you put that in um, and we're able to tell you if there is an open recall on your vehicle. And then Car Care is our program where you can sign up and store that VIN and then you don't have to think about it ever again. And we'll email you if a recall is issued because you might go online and check right now while it's top of mind and there's nothing there. But that doesn't mean a week from now or a month from now, a recall won't be issued. Yeah, really important. Well. Emily, I need to take a very quick break. When we come back, we'll talk more about checking if your car needs a checkup and gets needs to get fixed. You're going to want to stay tuned right here on BRN AM. Imagine a new television network that will make you richer, healthier, and in control of your financial future. This network is for the policewoman in Nashville, Tennessee, the baker in Dubuque, Iowa, the teacher in Lexington, Kentucky. We wanna make the idea of savings and retirement culturally relevant. But what do you see as a defining issue of the midterms? Especially for the smaller businesses. I mean, they are the lifeblood of the American economy. Featuring exclusive interviews, current affairs, and docu-series. 33 yeah. years old, you retired early. The philosophy is money only matters if it helps you live a life that you love. But you gotta start thinking about retirement as soon as you get in. The Broadcast Retirement Network will drive very high engagement with premium partnerships. So this isn't retirement and savings for your parents or grandparents. This is for all Americans. And we're gonna change the way you think about money. Welcome to the next frontier of retirement and savings. This is BRN, the Broadcast Retirement Network. Hopefully now you're interested in investing in stocks, which we at The Motley Fool believe is the single best way for folks like you and me to gain what could be truly life-changing wealth. That's why today we've got a special offer for new members. Since the service started, our average stock pick has returned over 600%, and that's over four times the return of the S&P 500. Don't regret not taking action right now. Just enter your email to get started. Welcome back. We're talking about car safety this morning with Emily Voss of Carfax. Emily, thanks so much for staying with us this morning. Sure. Thanks for having us. Okay. So I go out and I look up uh, on the Carfax website, carfax.com forward slash recall. I take, I've taken a picture of the VIN number with my phone and I can input that in. Uh, now to get these recall items fixed, people should know that there is no cost. I think the federal government has mandated that there is no cost for a manufacturer's defect as part of a recall. You are completely correct. There is no cost, it's completely free. Most of these just take an hour or two to fix. Almost all can be completed in less than a day. So you can call your local dealership, make an appointment, take it in. I know it's an inconvenience. We all have busy lives, but it is a matter, you know, in some of these cases of life and death. So you do need to be taking it in, getting it fixed and not putting it off for down the line because 50 million vehicles on the road, that is um, an astounding number. And we know that, you know, some of these aren't being addressed in a timely manner. And, and I got to tell you, I was at the dealer over the past, this past weekend um, and they have internet Wi-Fi. They have meeting rooms, conference rooms, a lot of, and, and this is not a high-end dealer. Uh, I'm not going to name them because, you know, I don't, then I'll get in trouble with every other dealership out there. But, <laughs> right. but, but the reality is, is these dealers are set up to get you in and out. They space out the, um, the uh, scheduling so that you can get in and out. They have vast staffs and they have places that you can get beverages. You can watch your kids. They got playrooms. So there's really very limited excuses to getting this work done. You're absolutely correct. You know, they've made it very comfortable for people while you're waiting. Um, and in some cases, there are dealerships as well. We've heard around the country 
who now through COVID, they've changed some of their service practices and you can call and schedule it and they'll come pick your vehicle up wow. and take it in, service it and bring it back. So, yeah. um, you know, it's really worth making that phone call to the dealership, schedule that appointment, they'll get you in and out. And like you said, if you do end up waiting there in the waiting room, most of them have very comfortable accommodations. And and, and just another reason why I think you probably want to finish this out with the last question here, Emily. I guess the, the, the most important reason is Tra- traffic violations, not traffic violations, safety accidents, they are up. I don't know if people are more distracted. Is it a result of, of not having some of these features? It probably is all of the above, but you get a safer car. The key is when you hit the road, it's not only safe for you and the people inside the car, it's also safe for the people outside this outside the car. That means all of us that are driving next to you. That's right. All drivers on the road. And it is alarming to think one in five cars has an open recall on it when you start looking around next to you at a stoplight. We know that sedans and SUVs are the vehicle type that have the highest amount of open recalls. And we know that southern states like Mississippi, Texas, Louisiana, they have the highest percentage of vehicles on the road with open recalls. So, uh, you know, these are just all things to be aware of and make sure you check your own vehicle, be a good citizen, be alert, be aware, make sure that um, if you do have an open recall, you get it taken care of. And also with rising prices, it makes sure to, to deal with the wear and tear because the cost could only go up. And if you're not going to buy a new car, you want to make sure that you take care of your vehicle. That is absolutely correct. And also just be aware when you buy a used car, there's no law in place that prevents open recalls um, from being on a used car. So if you buy a new car, they have to take care of any open recalls before selling a new car. But with a used car, that's not the case. There's no protection in place. So a lot of people assume they're buying a used car from a private seller, a dealer, that there won't be any open recalls on it. Don't make that assumption. You need to do your homework because a lot of used cars get sold with open recalls. And you want to be aware of that before you put your loved ones in that vehicle. Absolutely. And it it, it just important to do when you're, there are a lot more new, used cars on the road than there were. In fact, they're selling at a premium these days because you can't get into a new car or getting into a new car, you have to wait for six months and it's even more expensive. Emily Voss, we're gonna have to leave it there. Great to see you, give my best to the Car Fox. And uh, we look forward to having you and Carfax on again very soon. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, will do. That wraps up this episode of BRN AM. Have a topic of interest, somebody you think we should talk to. Drop us a line and don't forget for all the latest security news and lifestyle, wellness, finance, tech, so much more all in one place. Check out today's edition of our daily newsletter, The Morning Pulse. Want to search our archives? Check out our latest content. We'll visit our website and, of course, our streaming partners. We're back again tomorrow for another edition of BRN AM. Until then, I'm Jeff Snyder. Stay safe, keep on saving, and don't forget, roll with the changes. Now is your opportunity to co-create content around any topic on the first lifestyle and wellness network. Reach a global audience through our platform and co-own exclusive branded content. All of our programs are available on demand and also as audio only podcasts so you can take us on the go. Broadcast Retirement Network, available anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Are you being audited? And do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Is the IRS threatening to take more of your money? Don't fight the IRS alone. The Tax Doctor is here to help you negotiate your tax bill and reduce your stress. The IRS can freeze your assets and seize your bank accounts, but you can stop these IRS actions. The Tax Doctor will work with you using our years of experience to represent your case to help you get the best resolution under the IRS guidelines. Help is here to deal with the IRS to reduce your stress. We've handled thousands of cases, so we know what we're doing. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, do not call the IRS alone. Call a Tax Doctor now for a tax emergency analysis. Call 800-224-6439.